All right, final leg. So another week down and two very high quality meets that we saw go down in Europe this past week. First off, we're going to be talking about that Rome Diamond League just went down today. Of course, the highlight here, a couple highlights, but Mado Duplantis in that pole vault, absolutely dominating. So he's been chasing the outdoor world record all season. He already has the indoor world record at 6.18 meters, but he was going for that 6.15 meters to get that overall outdoor record. Here in Rome, he managed to get that world record 6.15 15 meters over the pole vault and he was about four or five centimeters ahead of that world record his hip height was way over the bar so he definitely has about a 620 or higher within him I think he's going to start to really get into those 620s and take some attempts there of course now he has that outdoor world record and that indoor world record there is nothing stopping him so keep a lookout always for Mondo Duplantis not sure if his season is done but we're going to see if he's going to continue out through the rest of the year now another big highlight here was Karsten Warholm so first off have to note he was in Berlin just a couple days ago and he managed to run a 47.08 second run in those 400 meter hurdles. Of course he's always been going back and forth trying to get that world record. Just a few days later today in Rome in those 400 meter hurdles came back 47.07 seconds. So just a hundredth of a second faster than he ran in Berlin but still not that world record. Of course we know he ran that 46.87 seconds earlier in the season back in Stockholm. He is going for that world record. I'm not not sure if he has other competitions left. We do have the Doha Diamond League and maybe one other competition, but of course, if Karsten Warholm doesn't get that world record, he has solidified his spot in that low 47 second range, and he's definitely going to be the favorite going into Tokyo. Now, still on the track, but this time in the distance races, we saw a really big surprise in that men's 3,000 meter run. Now, this was supposed to be all about Jakob Ingebrigtsen, but it turned out to be about Jacob Kiplimo. He had an amazing kick in those last few hundred meters, came away with the win in seven minutes, 26.64 seconds, makes him number eight all time in that 3,000 meters. Jakob Ingebrigtsen was not too far behind. He managed to run seven minutes, 27.05 seconds, makes him number nine all time. Now, Jakob Ingebrigtsen Britson just behind that European record, but have to note the European record is a little disputed. The guy who has it was noted for um, doping violations. So Jakob May, you can kind of say he has a European record, but great performance here. Again, he is super young, but also Kip Limo is also very young. He's actually younger than Ingebrigtsen. So definitely keep a lookout for both of these guys. The 1500 meters is probably Ingebrigtsen's uh, stronghold here, but then Kip Limo is definitely going to be in that 5k along with his countryman from Uganda, Joshua Cheptegei. Now let's head down to the sprints we're talking about that women's 100 meter dash we didn't see a lot of high quality performances throughout the summer because of all the pandemic issues that have been going on but elaine thompson finally made her first appearance in europe in the 100 meter dash she's already been running consistently in the 10 second range out in jamaica but in her first race here in rome managed to get the win in 10.85 seconds a world leading performance ahead of shelly and fraser price who had ran 10.86 seconds in jamaica but elaine thompson showing that she's getting over her injury woes we've seen her in the past three four seasons really struggling with the injuries hasn't gotten a medal since the 2016 olympic games so hopefully this shows that she is over her injuries and she's definitely going to be going to defend her olympic title in tokyo finally on the men's side akani simbine now he had a very fast early season run running 9.91 seconds back in south africa about in may or so earlier in the season here he came away with the win of really great late surge in the second half of the 100 meters 9.96 seconds very small win plus 0.3 meters per second so great consistency this is probably a little bit better than his early season run because this wasn't at altitude he didn't have as much win so great consistency from Simbine and in my opinion he's one of the front runners to go and medal at those Olympics definitely keep a lookout for Simbine from South Africa finally in Rome in that women's 800 meters now this was touted a race between Laura Muir and Jemmy Riki both them training partners Jemmy Ricky managed to get the win here in 1 minute 59.76 seconds. Not a very fast time, but what's really significant here is her consistency. She's been under two minutes a couple times through the season. Of course, indoors, she ran that 1 minute 57 second race, which really put her on the map a couple times in that 1 minute 58 second range. So Ricky's definitely a medal contender in Tokyo next year, beating a lot of the other high quality ladies through this season. So definitely keep a lookout for Ricky. Now, just a couple other results back in Berlin. We also saw Christian Taylor. He's been having a 
low-key season at some low-key meets in Berlin in that meet there he managed to get out to a world lead of 17.57 meters very great performance it was kind of a clutch performance he was behind at the fifth jump sixth jump came away with that 17.57 not sure if his season is done but he looks like the gold medalist that he has been over the past two Olympics might be going for a third gold medal at the Tokyo Olympics next year now I mentioned Laura Muir in that women's 800 in Rome in the few days before that she was actually in Berlin as well running the 1500 meter run got out to a world lead extremely dominant performance three minutes 57.40 seconds again a world leading performance she actually might be the women's athlete of the year she's been extremely consistent over both 1500 the mile and the 800 meters a little low key not too many women have really been showing things out but Laura Muir has been very consistent hopefully she's over the hump and she's able to actually get an outdoor medal in the 1500 meters gonna be very tough but she's been showing she has some great form this year that might translate into 2021. Finally in Berlin in that women's 3000 meter steeplechase actually a very fast race considering everything that's been going on this year. Hyven King she's a 2015 world champion also silver medalist at the Olympics she managed to get the win here in nine minutes 6.14 seconds world leading performance just on the cusp of that nine minute barrier and what's notable is she beat out Beatrice Chepkoic of course the world record holder and the reigning world champion. Chepkoic managed to run nine minutes 10.7 seconds so great race in that women's 3000 meter steeplechase great to see some very fast times despite the lack of the competition this year all right so those are just some of the highlights from the rome diamond league and the berlin um, meet that we had a couple days ago just a couple more meets that we have left in the rest of the season doha is coming up in october we also do have a couple other continental tours so make sure you guys check those out leave a comment below let me know what your favorite performance from these past weekends were and make sure you guys like the video subscribe to the channel we'll be back again next time thanks